Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It's Monday afternoon and we're going to start following Kathy around to see what's sold for us over the weekend, but I think she has a few coffees that we're going to thank you guys for real quick. Yeah, um, so three different people bought us some coffee. Um, Paige bought us five coffees. Thank you so much, wow. Paige. <laughs> um, and she said, I just have to say you guys are inspirational. Selling anywhere other than my plus size thrift consignment group was super intimidating. Since I started watching you two last week, I've already made 11 sales on Posh wow. and four on Kittizen. That's amazing. Four um, on Kittizen? She's yeah. doing better than I you. Know. <laughs> Let's see, it's November. <laughs> so far on Kittizen, I've made four, four. sales four. in November. <laughs> so that's amazing. Thank that you. is very um, good. Thank you so much for that. Yes. That's awesome. And I'm so glad you're having a lot of success that yes, way. Yes, it sounds like you'll continue to. Yeah. Um, and then Mackenzie bought us a coffee and said, thanks so much for introducing me to Pasha VA. My Poshmark sales have doubled since I've been using it. Yeah. Oh, I, wow. Yeah. I would say the same for us. Yep. Um, also a need to boost in sales since you introduced me to childhood's clothing. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that's an addiction for sure. Thankfully it's, you can usually make most of your money back yeah. if your kid doesn't ruin it. And even <laughs> if they do, you can make half of your money back. So I don't thanks know. Thanks for that support, Mackenzie. Yeah. Still my favorite kids clothing. Yeah. Brand. All right. And then Pam bought us a copy and said, love watching your channel. You're authentic. I've been a seller for 21 years and still wow. learning new things. Um, your channel motivates me. God bless. So thank you so much, awesome, Pam. Pam. Thank you so much for the support. Pam, Mackenzie, and Paige. Thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. We have the best viewers here on YouTube. I can say that confidently. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for all the support, guys. All right, so we're starting in CX today. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you'll notice this. Yeah, yeah we have some. <laughs> well, so first <laughs> off, he's been weird the whole weekend, like, what, Saturday? All of a sudden, he just didn't want to lay on the bed anymore. Yeah. And we think it was because, like, the wind blew. <laughs> yeah. The window. We're thinking because we had the window open. We're thinking he kind of got creeped out. I don't know. It's like the, this. I don't know. He's just been acting. He's so been weird. weird. So we've covered it up, and he's been using it again. But so then we washed this cover just yeah. to see. I don't know if he thought it was something. <laughs> which, and then when we brought it up freshly cleaned, he sat on it for a minute. Yeah. Then he got off of it again and wouldn't get back on it. Yeah. Then we covered it with this, which is what he lays with downstairs with his other bed. Yeah. Um, Which he was just laying here for a good hour or so. Figuring if for some reason this was like bugging him, at least this would make him comfortable. Right. And he could still lay on the bed. But yeah, he was just snoozing <laughs> here for a long time. And now I look over it. Push record and he got out. So. Did he come on your bed? He's you got, bed? he's just a quirky dog. Yeah. He'll, I'm sure he'll get back up <laughs> on there. But he probably just wants attention. He just want attention. Huh? Eyeball. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we've been trying to figure out what what kind of is. It's almost like he's been creeped out by. It. I don't know. Like it's it's weird. We don't it really know <laughs> because he loved it, and then all, all of a sudden he wouldn't even go near it right. for a, a while. It's just weird, bizarre. <laughs> but he does weird things all the time. Yes, so. <laughs> he is a weird and bizarre dog. <laughs> he's so, the sweetest guy. <laughs> yeah, we might have to keep the blanket on it. <laughs> Um, so the first thing that sold was this, the brand just says Icelandic on the tag. Um, they're just some men's swim chunks I found at the bins a while back. They've been sitting in my closet for months and months and months. Finally got them listed. They sold in just a couple days for $15 plus ship. So I have $1.31 into them. Not too bad. I probably could have listed for more, but there was this spot like on them right here that just, I couldn't tell if it was a stain or just like, this is a very busy pattern. So yeah. anyways, for that reason, I listed them lower, showed the spot, definitely blends in well, so. Yeah, it's one of those things you can't really tell if it's intentional or yeah. after the, you know, <laughs> not so, original, so. I didn't see the stain on the inside of the garment, which would make me think that it was meant to be that way. Right. All right, so this is kind of a weird story. So someone bought this Magnolite pot and I saw I had a watcher on two of them and I sent her an offer on both. I think the other one was this one. So you can see this one, it has a very deep like Magnolite stamped yeah. in the bottom yep. engraving. Very clear, obviously Magnolite. This one has nothing. Has nothing. Although, I mean, you can see these are basically the exact same pots. This yeah. one has nothing either. I mean, they have this the same. Yep, clearly the same pot. They have these the same, which, Oh, no. You all right? <laughs> yeah. I hope I don't bust it. 
Um, but yeah, they have like the Magnolite handles, the like style, whatever. Mm -hmm. And like these are clearly meant to fit this exact thing. Like the yeah. hole matches up. Anyway, so she asked if this one had a stamp at one point, which, you know, we got them from the thrift store. So I don't right. know for sure, but it, you can pretty much tell that it never did. Yeah. So I don't know. Chris thinks they're. It's weird to think that a pan is fake, but obviously just, I the think just non-authentic, right? Like the only reason that there's not a Magnolite stamp on there is if it's not a Magnolite. There's no way a Magnolite pan would not have the stamp. And then I don't know. Like I was thinking, it could have got like. Re that Surfaced has a lid. <laughs> I know. I was trying to could, hold the lid. You could very obviously, like this is a very deep, like stamp or engraving or whatever. Nothing on these pots. So I don't know. Anyway, so we told her no, but now we're like all worried that they're well, Chris more than uh, yeah. me. I would still sell them, but we took them down. The other two, so she bought the one with the stamp. Um, but yeah, the other two we're just gonna keep and use probably. Yeah. So, I mean, they're very obviously the same exact pan, yeah. pot, whatever, but just not an authentic Magnolite. I, we can't, there's no way to really prove it, right? Because the handles are removable, yeah. the little rubber part of the handle. That's the only other part that says Magnolite on it, so. And, you know, I'm not a pan and pot person, but I yeah. assume if I, that was my thing, I would want it to be like a legit, like if I, yeah. like I like Patagonia, I want it to say Patagonia on it. Yep. So. Yeah. Well, I don't care where my pots and pans are from or made <laughs> or whatever. I understand that somebody else might. So yeah, we took those down. We'll, we'll still use them. And if any of you guys have any information as to why, maybe we're yeah. wrong. Maybe we're thinking too deep into it. Maybe they are real. <laughs> I but think they're real. I just, I don't know if someone will have a problem. I just don't yeah. want to deal with the problem down the line. So um, she paid 15 plus shit for that. That was an offer I sent her. All right, so basically just breaking even on that after <laughs> all that. So another reason I just don't, it's just not my Yeah, thing. we're just... There's definitely money in it. Pot pa and pans. Pots and pans were fun while it lasted, right? <laughs> <laughs> not even really. Because no. <laughs> we had to wash them. I'm like, I don't like washing yeah. them. Yeah. Scrubbing grease off of them. Yeah. Not that I ever did any of those yeah. things. You know so much about that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is a Chaps flannel for men. I bought this at Goodwill for $7.99. Only because it was new with tag and it was a men's like what is it? XL tall or something. So it was a good size. It sold for $24.81 plus shipping. So not too bad. I don't pick up all chaps. That was literally only because of the new tag and the larger size and the tall. Um, makes it worth yeah. a little more as well. So these North Face boots. This is one of my four Kittizen sales for the month. <laughs> <laughs> Those um, sold on Kittizen? Yeah. Interesting. Mama shoes. So they're just, these were actually carded like three times this week by three different people. Which is funny because they've been listed a while and just all of a sudden getting carded, which I haven't shared them. And I'm not doing the promoted listings right now. So yeah. I don't know. Somebody found them and <laughs> three different people found them and put them in their cart. But yeah, these are just some North Face women's hiking boots. I did pay up for these at $14.99, mostly because they were my size. I was like, well, if they don't sell, I'll keep them. But they sold, so $49 with free shipping. Shipping cost $9.50, so I still more than doubled my money there. And if you're not familiar with Kidizen, you could sell kids and women's, women's clothes, yeah. but no and men's. like toys, you could yeah. sell pretty much anything to do with kids. Um, for women, you can't do like perfumes and you can't do like coffee mugs and things like that. No home stuff. Right. This I already pulled out because I had to figure out a box for them, but these roller blades sold. Um, I have, well, I remember paying $5.99 for these, but I averaged my cost of goods that day, so it came out to $4.90 is what I have into these. Yeah. And yeah, they're just some Salomon roller blades. Um, they sold for $71.16 plus shipping on eBay. So Very really good, good. sale. Um, because of how big they are and how big this box is, they're gonna go UPS um, because through USPS for this size of a box is like $39. Yeah. Um, and to where they were going, which was North Carolina, so. Which isn't very far. I mean, it's a it's, it's a good distance, yeah. but it's it's pretty expensive <laughs> there. So this is nine pounds. Um, 
as is, like with the box and everything. Yeah. It was a nine pound label. I was able to get it for like $15 and change through UPS with the dimensions and stuff. So you can see the box was about like this tall. Two so inches Chris taller. Cut yeah. it down because it was like 18 something, which still wasn't bad for a nine pound box. But I said if he could cut it down two inches, I could get it for like three bucks cheaper. So he did. And so 15, like 40 or something for shipping on those. So that was an awesome sale. Yeah. We've done pretty good with rollerblades, right? We've sold uh, at least one other pair for good profit. Yeah, <laughs> it takes me forever to list them. I have yeah. one more pair right there I need to list. Just gonna put these here so we don't have them falling all over. All right, box R. These are just some little baby rainbow flip flops. Um, I have 455 in them into them. <laughs> we sold for $22.14 plus shipping on eBay. Alright. This I think is in here. So my bag of stuff I haven't got around to bagging up and putting away yet. So it's inventory, well not inventory, but it's listed, yeah, photographed listed and all that. Within the last couple days. We just haven't been able to get them bagged and inventoried yet. Yes. Meeting up in Denver and then I had some my aunt my aunt yeah. and uncle came visiting and we went and hung out with them at my mom's house who's now back in town she's been gone for months so a lot of a lot of personal stuff going on <laughs> this last weekend so we just <laughs> haven't been able to get to it you can't well, find it huh? see it but I do know I sold this too <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I don't know why I... here we're gonna cut the video real quick and try to locate this and we'll be right back all right, guys, we did find it. It was actually in this blue bin down there. <laughs> Where the other stuff I haven't put away. Is, so that's why it's important to put your stuff away. Yes. Usually I don't have more than like one day's worth, which was like 15 items or less. But I think I have two days worth right now that I need to get put away. That's on my to-do list for today. Yep. Um, so anyways, this was my son's hoodie. The brand is just Fat Face. I think it's like a UK brand. I bought it off Kitazen a while back for 12 and I sold it for 15 plus ship. I can't remember. I think it was on Mercari. You'll see the screenshot, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Mercari. So basically made all my money back there. All right. This is a viewer sale going out to Tanya. All right. So she grabbed these Spenco, like they're purple mules. Um, we bought these back when we were in Nebraska for spring break last year. I paid $5.99 for them, and she bought them for me for $17 plus ship on Mercari. So thank you so much, Tanya. Yeah, thank you so much for the support, Tanya. Yeah, I don't know. those. I thought those would sell a lot sooner. I have sold one other pair, and they sold, like, right away, but they were, like, a women's 10. I really think, like, I think your size, Tanya, was, like, six and a half or so, so... I still pick it up, but <laughs> yeah, those sizes are definitely take a little bit longer to sell for me. Yeah. Um, so this is actually a viewer sale as well, but she also bought something else. So let me grab them both. Thank you. Hey, you wanna lay on your bed? Do you wanna lay right here? So these are going out to Anne. She bought these vintage Havana sneakers from me. Um, these I actually bought for myself and I did wear them a few times. I just was cleaning out my shoe shelf this weekend and, or a few days ago and I have more shoes than could fit on my shoe shelf and I didn't want more shoes than could fit on my shoe <laughs> shelf. So I got rid of probably six pairs, which I already don't have that much pairs. So anyways, and I hope you love those. Uh, I think I bought them at Goodwill originally for like $7.99. And then these are just some bionic flat, like Mary Jane's. Um, those I also bought at a Goodwill for $7.99. So the vintage Havana's she bought for 20 plus ship and then the bionics for 36, 38 plus ship. So thank you so much, Anne. Awesome, thank you so much for the support, Anne. All right, so box you. This is just a Chaps hoodie. That was actually my personal hoodie I bought off ThreadUp a while back. Um, I paid $13.99 for it on ThreadUp. 
I did wear it, and then I sold it for 10 plus shipping on Facebook. Alrighty, CK. Alrighty, this is that Broncos, the vintage Lee Sport um, pullover. So this I picked up, average cost of goods that day was $6.85 and it sold for $47 plus shipping on Mercari. So really, really good sale. Yeah, that even had a few flaws that we kind of yeah, point I mean, out and stuff. So the tag is like all dingy and gross, but also like the whole print kind of like had a big greasy mark around it, which I just think is from age and but Yeah. Yeah, my show Pointed myself, it all so. out and still <laughs> sold, so. Yeah. I don't like selling flawed items, but I'd do it. guys sold these are some chemical reaction which i don't always pick up this brand but these are you can tell like basically brand new with hell box yeah and wedges do well for me and these are like they're nice leather so i did grab them they were also cheap that's why i grabbed them they were 5.69 and they sold for 45 on posh that was an offer someone sent me and i accepted okay the box of d as me wanting to go do some retail arbitrage. <laughs> um, this is just a men's Prana shirt that I picked up at our Dillard's discount store in town. I have 1174 into it, so that sounds like a lot, but it sold for 35 on Posh, so I make 28. That's like, what, yeah. 14, 15 dollar profit. I think that's really good on a retail arbitrage item. Yeah. So it makes me want to go buy some more. Yeah, if we can double our money on a retail arbitrage we're extremely happy yeah. so anytime you do more than that it's yeah and then if you can get better. a multi-quantity yeah. in there too. especially when you have multi-quantity yeah Alrighty. so this is something that i've had listed forever well probably over a year they're just the men's tommy bahama swim trunk they're size 4x like men's 4x so i thought those would sell really fast but like i figured there wasn't wouldn't be a lot listed in that size and people would probably be looking for that size but yeah I was wrong. Um, I did have lots of questions about them and asking me to take less, like 20 bucks. Like the retail price on these is a hundred something, which mm -hmm. I think I only had them listed around 30, 35, but people wanted them for like 20 and I just thought that was a little too low. So yeah. finally they sold. I have $8 into them. They were retail arbitrage. I think also from the Dillard's discount, but just a longer time ago. Mm -hmm. They sold for 27.55 plus shipping on eBay. So not bad. Yeah. Glad to see them go. What was I gonna say? Oh, so I kind of stopped doing my sell similars that I've been I've talked about before on eBay. Mostly just to have time to do my 15 a day and mm -hmm. just get caught up on other things I need to do. But for some reason, one day I was just sitting here. I had a couple minutes. I was like, let me just do a few. So I did like seven. This was one of them, and then it sold like the next day. So I'm not saying it was because of that, but it's kind of <laughs> random that I just did the sell similar and then all of a sudden it sold. So. I did change the price, um, probably a tiny bit lower, like, but. <laughs> hey, it got it sold. Right. Oh, were we just in here? <laughs> yep. Uh, it's not Some Koi by Sunita, like nursing box. I have 10, 16 into these. They sold for 35, 56 plus shipping. I think that was eBay too. I've been putting my labels kind of as they come in, so I kind of forgot where everything sold. All right, and then this Columbia PFG. I actually bought this off the off Facebook during October with free shipping, so I only paid ten dollars for it, and then I resold it on Facebook for thirty plus shipping. So crazy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> It is crazy. That, you sold a few of those things you got off of Facebook on Facebook. I sold almost everything Facebook. that I bought off Facebook right. already back on it within less than a month. So. Back on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. crazy. <laughs> All right. So DC. You're lucky you don't have to move. You want to get on your bed? <laughs> you want to get tummy rubs on your bed? <laughs> I'm fine, Mom. <laughs> Uh, these are kind of cool. So I don't pick up a ton of adult Converse usually because they price them up a lot at the our local thrifts. And these were priced, I think, at $12.99, but I averaged my cost of goods this day, so it was $10.64, just a lot for Converse. I probably would not generally pay that much, but they were in really, really good shape. Plus, they had this whole print on them. They got, like, 
Skulls, rainbows, oh, yeah. unicorns, kind of like a punk Pop type. culture, yeah. yeah. It's like, um, so I did look up the comps on these before I bought them just to see if I thought it was worth it. And it actually was. Like, I saw a couple sold on eBay in the $50 to $60 range. So I grabbed them. They sold today on Poshmark for $56 with discount shipping. So it definitely was worth the pickup. Yeah. And, yeah, very happy with that Those sale. Those are cool, though. Right, but yeah, just uh, like some basic black Converse or something, I probably would pass definitely for ten bucks. Um, maybe if they were like brand new, I'd pick them for ten because you'd make some money. But right, last one be over. Alrighty, these are just some little girl Skechers. I picked these up at JBF a few months back for six fifty, and someone offered me twenty on Posh, so I accepted that. So not a huge profit, sixteen, like a nine dollar profit, which I think is fine. Yeah. These look almost brand new. Like I took a few photos and listed them. So happy with that. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna get this stuff all packed up, and we'll be right back. Look, guys, he's back in his bed. Talk too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him think we know. <laughs> Anyway, we did get everything all packed up. We did not have any other oh. sales come in. And that's about it for today, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm still working on my listings. I did miss Saturday. Oh, because yeah. Because I swear still, like, I planned on going to the post office and going to one store, which is a very small store. I could literally look through every item in probably less than an hour. And so I was like, okay, I'll go there. And then I found a Dale of Norway sweater. Which was funny because I just talked about that on Saturday, how I never found one because I sold that other sweater for 130 yeah. And then I literally found one, like, right after I left here. So <laughs> then I was, like, like on this big roll, and I was just like, okay, I got to keep thrifting now, which obviously didn't find anything as good as that, but I did find some good stuff. So anyways, I didn't get home till like, 10 p.m. on Saturday, so I didn't get any listings up, but I yeah. did on Sunday, and I will today. Um, it's okay. So. You know, that's... <laughs> Goals, like, although they're meant to be reached, right? it's okay if they don't get reached, right? Now that's the point of a bank, though. So if yeah. I would have had a bank, I could have put up 15 listings in 30 minutes. Like, the listing doesn't take long. It's just the, yeah, I got a photograph, draft, all that yeah. stuff. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah, she's been going through all kinds of stuff. We did get a haul video. What are you doing over there? He's trying to get his bed comfy. Yeah, <laughs> You're going to show. Oh, uh-oh. Let's see what's he going to do. See how it kind of weirded him out a little bit? <laughs> See? Like, it's just it. so weird. <laughs> and now he's like running away. Great. What's wrong with it, Reese? You loved it like two days ago. <laughs> it's so bizarre. It's I'm glad I caught that on camera because I, <laughs> I was like, how do we explain it? Because it's... Yeah, he just keeps staring at it like it's... Like a scary spider or something. <laughs> I don't know, but he's not even scared of spiders, so. Which is weird, because he, he was really loving it the first yeah. couple days. And now it's like. Might take it in our room tonight and see if he'll get normally he's sleeping on it again. What's wrong with you? You think it's like spiders or something? You're not afraid of spiders. <laughs> Anyway, we did just get a haul video recorded, and that's actually going up before this video. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get this stuff off to the post office, go pick up the boys, and I'm actually, I gotta look at the furnace. For some reason, our furnace was not running last night. We got super cold, because it's fall, or is it winter? I don't know. <laughs> it's getting to be cold, and it was daylight savings and all that. Anyway, that's what's going on with us, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next.